Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back with your boy Luke, guys, live from the Cueva de Peludo. I told you guys I'm gonna be here. I got all the information, I got all the updates. We just had a great time. I got all the information for you. you guys, check this out. It's kind of loud right here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this back to the house. I'm gonna give you all the details on the Cueva de Peludo. As you can see right here, I'm here. Look at that thumbnail, that thumbnail pic. I was there. Smash that like and subscribe button, and let's get started. All right, guys, I just woke up. I'm gonna mix this drink right here. And then I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna tell you guys all about La Cueva de Peludo. So stay tuned. All right guys, I don't remember if I did my clap move or not, so let's do it again and let's get started. What's up YouTube, back with your boy Luke. Okay guys, check this out, you asked for it, I'm giving it to you. I'm giving you all the information on La Cueva de Peludo in Tijuana, Mexico. Now folks, this place is on Boulevard Diaz Ordaz, and I'm gonna put that down in the description below so you're gonna be able to see it. It's not that far from the border. Check this out. I drove right in. It had been like 15 years since I had been there. I had completely forgotten everything about it. But I drove in. The parking is great. It's completely secure and it's got like a wall all around the parking and it's also got a hotel in there that connects to the bar. So the parking's great. It was only 40 pesos. It was completely secure. We park, we walk in, and when we walk in there's a metal detector right there guys. Just like there's a metal detector in Hong Kong, you guys know how I feel about that. I think that's great because it just keeps people, protects the girls, it protects the customers, protects everybody. Now, I've heard that it's the same ownership group between HK and La Cueva. I'm not sure, but I heard that it is. So I walk in this place, guys. It is huge, right? And I'm going to tell you what. It honestly reminds me of just like a level down from Hong Kong, okay? Okay. You know how like when you buy a car, you can get the car with the leather seats and the heated seats and the sunroof, or you can just get the base model? Well, this is just the base model. I felt completely safe there. I'm going to tell you this right now. Um, there was not a lot of gringos there at all. There wasn't a lot of gringo music. It's more of a traditional Mexican place, okay? Um, the drinks were cheaper. The girls were cheaper. And... Okay, and when I mean cheaper, like if you bought a drink for a girl, it was only $7, okay? If you bought a beer, it was $2. If you bought a mixed drink, it was 58 pesos one time and then 50 pesos the other time. But the waiter that charged me the 58 had on a yellow shirt. It was in training. Guys, it was 8 pesos, which is like 40 cents. So I really didn't make a big deal out of it. I felt completely safe. I paid with big bills each time and I received the correct change. Um... Now, I did get there around 10 o'clock, and there was a stage for the girls to dance, but there were no girls dancing, and I asked the guy there, hey, when do the girls dance? And he said, about 10.30, they start. Sure enough, at 10.30, the girls started dancing. So the hotel was 240 pesos for 30 minutes, which is about 10 bucks. I'm sure if you wanted more time, they could absolutely get that more time for you, and I'm sure it would come at an additional charge. Now, guys, here's something that I did notice about the girls here in La Cueva de Peludo, and I have noticed it all over Zona Norte, guys. Hate to tell you this, but the price has gone up. You know, for the last 15 years, the price was always 70 to 80 bucks, but they would take 50 or 60 bucks at the big three, Adelita, Hong Kong, Chicago. That's not the case anymore. All these girls are asking for 100 bucks now. Now, will they take a little bit less? I'm sure they will, but you can definitely see that the prices have went up, okay? And I don't know why anybody bitches about that because the prices of everything have gone up. Cars, homes, everything. So it's just a little bit more money. It still beats the United States 10 days out of 10 days. All right guys, so to wrap this up, it was a good experience. And like I said, it may, it may not be the major leagues. It might not even be triple A, but it's definitely double A, okay? I also went to the Siete de Copas that night. And in a couple days, I got a review on the Siete de Copas coming out. But I'm telling you, um, Cueva de Peludo is a good place, guys. You know, would I recommend you go in there? Yeah, if you get bored with HK or Chicago or Adelitas, or maybe you just want to do something different, you want to get outside of Zona Norte, then hit up the Cueva de Peludo. You'll have a good time. All right, guys, smash that like and subscribe button. You asked for it. I gave it to you. Any other questions you have about Tijuana, Zona Norte, the girls, the bars, the beaches, whatever, you let me know, and I'll be there for you. You guys stay safe.